Hello and welcome to Fact Order. This is the second video on Coigniter Shield. In this video, we're going to enable a couple of optional features that the Coigniter Shield provides, which will extend the basic functionality of login and registration to build a robust authentication system for Coigniter application. The first option feature that we're going to configure in Coigniter Shield is to enable account activation via email. And the second feature is to enable uh, email-based two-factor authentication. These features are typically found in most of the modern websites. In the previous video, we installed Coigniter Shield in Coigniter 4 application and configured session filter to restrict access to users who are not authenticated by the session authenticator. Also, we configured a couple of other filters, rate limiting filter to protect uh, app authentication pages from being spammed by bots, and password reset filter to enforce reset the password on the user. If you haven't watched the previous video on how to install and configure Coignite Shield, I recommend you to watch that video. I'll, the link to that can be found in the description or you can click the link that is shown on top of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and run the application and start off by registering a new user with the basic functionality that comes with the initial setup of Coordinator Shield. Running the application, align launching in the browser. Taking us to the login page. To register a new user, click the register. Enter the email address. Enter the username. Enter password. And confirm the password. By clicking register, will activate and authenticate the user straight away and allow access to protected pages of the application, which is the default functionality of the Codeigniter Shield. We want to take this a step further by verifying the user's email address by sending a confirmation code to the user's email address. So uh, in the meantime, uh, we're going to add a link to log out in the home page. Go to views and open welcome message. Go to new list item. and add a link to logout. Specify the route to a logout. Apply the CSS style of our list item. Now go back to the application and reload the page to reflect the see the reflected changes. Click the logout link to log out the currently logged in user. Before we proceed further to demonstrate email verification on account registration and uh, email based two factor authentication uh, after login, uh, we want to configure email settings in our application. Uh, for that, we're going to use the Gmail SMTP server to configure uh, email settings in our application. So for that, we have to uh, generate app password. First, log into your Google account. Click go to Google account and sign in uh, with your email address or phone.
enter your password and then click next if you ask for two-step verification verify the two-step verification so we have logged into our google account in the search box type app password click the app passwords enter the app name and click the that will generate a password copy the app password and uh, save it in a file and keep it in a secure place because we will need this shortly when we can configure email settings in our application. Now we can uh, start to configure email settings in our application. Go to config. So th these are the settings that uh, uh, we have to configure if you want to Use the Gmail SMTP server. Open the email.php. Change the protocol to SMTP. Set the SMTP host as smtp.gmail.com. Set the SMTP user. This is your Google account, usually your Gmail account. Set the SMTP password. This is the app password that we generated. And for SMTP server, the port number is 465. If you want to set the SMTP timeout, you can set SMTP timeout as well. If, we, if you're using connection on port number 465, then you must uh, set the SMTP crypto empty. Set the mail type uh, either text or HTML. And also you have uh, other uh, settings that you can customize uh, to your requirements. But for now, we'll stick with the default. Next, we're going to enable account activation via email. To enable account activation via email, uh, we're going to specify the email activator class in the register alias of the action survey. Associate the email activator class to the register alias of the action survey. So uh, that will enable email verification on account registration. Now go back to the application and register a new user with the email verification enabled. Enter our email address. Uh, 
enter username enter a password and confirm the password now when I click the register it will ask me to enter the activation code which will be sent to the user's email address so check your email for activation code so open the activation code uh, that we received this is the activation code that we received enter that in the token field and click send which will activate the user Click the logout to log the user out from the application. I'm going to log in with the user that we just registered. So if I click login, it will authenticate the user. The user is not passed to the two-factor authentication which means email uh, based two-factor authentication is not enabled we want to configure uh, two-factor authentication specify the a class email two-factor authentication and the login alias of the action so right Copy the email to factor authentication class and uh, associate it, it to the login alias of the action survey. Now come back to the application and login. So we're logging in with the two factor authentication enabled. which will pass to two-factor authentication we have to confirm the email address click send that will send a verification code to the user's email address check your email and get the verification code Type in the verification code. And click confirm. So the user is authenticated and uh, logged into the application. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to show you how to use your username and uh, password instead of your email address and password to log into your application. So I'm going to log in with my username and password. So I can't log in with my username and password because the code writer shield isn't configured to log in with username and password. So if you want to configure the Coignite shield uh, to log in with your username and password 
first uh, go to app config and open auth.php comment out the email and uncomment the username from the valid fields variable And then go to vendor, go to ignite to four, shield, source, validation, and open the validation rules. Here, comment out email and uncomment username from get login rules method next go to views and open login.php change the input type from email to text and replace the text email with username for all the attributes So uh, go back to the application and refresh. Now you can log in with your username and password. Plugin login.